Hey guys, I'm Alina Smith. I'm a producer, songwriter, and artist. And today we're gonna take a look at how you can quickly and easily create a pop demo in Pro Tools. I wanna go for something really electronic, like a synth heavy kind of track with some really powerful pop vocals. And to help me get the right sound, I'll be using plugins from Universal Audio, which are included in the Pro Tools Inner Circle Reward Program, the Polymax Synth, and the Century Tube Channel Strip. To start, I wanna create a simple pad. I'm feeling like a little 80s today and I think Polymax will be the perfect tool for that because it basically models a lot of classic synths like Oberheim's, Jupiter's, but it also has a lot of modern features. Let's find a cool preset to start with. I really like a lot of these. Uh, this one flutter though, this really caught my eye or ear, I guess. I do want to tweak it a little. Um, this yellow knob, the cutoff frequency knob, this is the easiest way to do it. You can really hear how playing with the cutoff changes the sound. Okay, let's go ahead and record our pad. And now I'm gonna automate the cutoff knob to add these dramatic filter sweeps to it. Let's check out how this turned out. Okay, next I'd love to add some rhythmic synth bass to this. I feel like the pad is really flowy, legato, and it needs a nice rhythmic counterpoint. So let's use Polymax for that too. I do actually really like this preset, but there are also ways to play around with it, like focusing on the resonance knob. It can totally reshape your sound really dramatically if you want. All right, let's hear how this bass sounds with our pad. Now let's bring in some quick drums. I'm actually gonna use samples for my own sample pack because I already know I like how they sound. And before we move on to vocals, I think I wanna add a couple more synth parts here. Maybe something melodic, like a pretty bell, you know, to really fill out this track. I've got this bell sound here. I think a fun way to play with it would be to look at the oscillator section. We can modulate the wave shape of our oscillators using the mod knobs and create a lot of unique textures. I think I need more rhythm, just a little. I wanna add an ARP and I wanna make it with Polymax. I'm taking these simple chords and playing around with the rate and the mode, how fast the ARP is going, the shape of its movement, until I get something I like. Okay, let's hear how our demo beat turned out. Now, as far as the top line vocal, I think I wanna do something really melodic here. I feel like the chords are really expressive, so you don't want any kind of static melody. We don't want that. And I like a lot of the bell melodies I played, so I wanna match those with a vocal melody too. When you hold her close, I hope that you know that you won't let go of me all that easily, no. Now this is a good vocal, but it kind of doesn't feel like a pop vocal, if you know what I mean. It feels a little raw, and that's because it doesn't have any EQ or compression, anything really on it. So let's fix that with Century Tube Channel Strip. Now this is such a high quality channel strip. It's simple, but it's got everything you need to make a vocal sound professional. We've got a tube preamp for a warm analog sound, an EQ, and this is my favorite, uh, a one knob compressor. I love that it's just one knob. It's just so simple. There are obviously a lot of cool presets here, but I love this SM7 mic preset. Now, I always like a little bit of shimmer on my pop vocals. That's what I call the 10 to 12K frequency range. So I'm gonna turn that up here in the EQ section. I'm also adding a little bit more high mid and playing with a compression knob and gain until I get a level that feels steady, but not over compressed. Oh, you feel it still, my love is like a ghost. This is sounding great to me. Uh, I'm just gonna add a few more effects on my vocals and let's hear the final result. When you hold her close, I hope that you know that you won't let go of me. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you hit the link in the description to find out more about the Pro Tools Inner Circle Reward Program. Bye for now.